Hey there, what's up guys? Welcome to Blender Wiz. And in today's video, we're gonna learn how to do product modeling. And the product that we're gonna model will be an iPhone charger. So we'll keep the video simple and short. And I hope you'll like the video. So not wasting our time, let's get started. So let's start by deleting everything from the scene. So press A and X to delete. Now let's add a cube. Then go to front view and just scale it a bit. This much is fine. Go to the top view. Yeah, okay, the size looks good. Now let's add some loop cuts. So go to edit mode, control R for loop cuts. Uh, let's add two loop cuts here and let's add two loop cuts here scale this down to Y and select these loop cuts so let's go to wireframe mode and scale this down on the X axis so this will be our charging port so just select this face extrude it inwards then go to the top view press i to insect uh, till you here g to grab on the y-axis and again let's extrude this out till here all right so now this looks a bit you know they have these sharp edges so let's add a modifier which is the subdivision surface one of my favorites uh, increase the levels to three yeah that's it and then go to edit mode and let's just add some loop cuts again one loop cut here one loop cut here one here and one here and then go to front view and add two loop cuts here and scale it towards the z-axis okay looks good now to make this a bit more you know this doesn't look good so all you have to do is just add some loop cuts so let's add one loop cut here towards the edge one loop cut here then one loop cut no uh, yeah one loop cut here one loop cut here and one loop cut here one loop cut here all right so you can see this looks good now and let's just shade this smooth so select the object right click and shade auto smooth so yeah i think this is it for the charging port oh now we have to also add the pins so it's pretty simple just add a cylinder scale it down go to front view one here scale it towards the z-axis Yeah, this much all right auto smooth okay and then duplicate it all right this looks good uh, just skill skill it a bit delete this and then uh, it's look it looks too large scale it a bit down 
Uh, okay. I'll just scale this a bit down. And then take this up. Alright, this looks good now. Now, let's add the cable. So, again for the cable, let's just save this first. Uh, this is already, I have made it. I've just practiced it. So, I'll just change it to iPhone Charger 2. Alright, now let's add the cable. So, to add the cable, let's, uh, okay, before adding the cable, let's uh, add the, let's, let's make the area where you, you know, actually plug in the charger. So, let's do that first. So, add a cube, scale it down, and, uh, Scale it on the z-axis, a bit down. Scale on the y-axis, all right. All right, now let's add the subdivision surface modifier. Or before that, let's just duplicate this. Grab it down, scale it down here somewhere okay this looks good scale on the y-axis a bit all right now let's add the subdivision surface level to three let's add the loop cuts one here one here all right now let's go down here for the first just shade this smooth let's go down here go in the edit mode press 3 to select the face now again we have to do the same thing press i to insert insect not insert and then extrude it towards the z-axis all right oh let's just redo this I to insect just a bit here let's uh, scale this on the y-axis a bit yeah now you can ins extrude it all right okay this looks good now let's make the cable now all right so for the cable let's uh, let's add a curve path curve scale it a bit till here all right now go on the top view go to the object data properties inside the geometry tab you can increase the extrude part so you can see this extrudes it and then you can increase the depth let's keep it to 0.1 yeah okay all right and increase increase the resolution to let's say 10 Just scale it down to Z axis to make it look more round. Perfect. Now let's just give this some shape. So it's just a random thing. You just grab any of the vertices and just move it along the axis. So yeah, I think that's it. Now take this thing, rotate it along the x axis at 90 degrees, rotate along the z at 90, go into the top view and uh, let's add this somewhere here.
rotate it okay okay this looks good and also like you can duplicate this and put it here on the other end just rotate it perfect one end is slightly thick so let's just make it thick now perfect uh, all right i guess yeah we are almost done let's just align it properly or oh, before aligning in it let's just add some materials to it save this first go into the material what is this called yeah viewport shading yeah <laughs> so go into the viewport shading inside the material tab new material add a new material let's keep the color to white increase the metallic value to 0.5 decrease the roughness to let's say 0.2 all right and let's keep it to 0.5 perfect do the same thing here let's add this material and press this thing to add a new material which will actually duplicate the material and then you can change this color to silverish yeah and add this material here as well for the cable uh, let's just keep it simple white with little bit metallic value let's say 0.1 and roughness to 0.4 okay now use the same material which we use for the pins material 2 for this as well material 2 for this material 1 for this material 1 okay looks good now save it now uh, okay let's just add a table now because yeah we'll just put it on the table um so for, for the table you can use this blender kit add-on it's absolutely free i have this video on how to use blender kit you can check it out so let's just select a table mm. yeah this looks good scale it scale it scale it okay yeah i think this is good now the next thing is let's add a camera and press ctrl alt and zero go press n go into the view section and just select this camera to view so you can over the camera and let's keep this angle now oh then just uncheck it so that when you move around the camera stays still now just select this charger and rotate it along the x-axis to 90 degree go in front view take this down place it on the table also also this thing the cable place it on the table perfect and let's just 
move it like something like this okay this looks good save it now let's go into the render section change the render settings to cycles and let's keep the maximum samples to 250 here also 250 and uh, let's add an environment hdri so go into the wall properties this color section and change this to environment texture add a new texture just open and uh, i got this texture from hdriheaven.com if you want i'll add the link of this texture in the description you can go check that out so then open the image the texture is added there you go all right looks cool just place the camera angle just place the camera angle properly so let's say like this yeah like this and there you go you have just made a charger just save it and render it so i hope you like this video and if you like it then please hit that like button also hit subscribe to my channel and don't forget to comment thank you so much for watching